Welcome back to more Paper Mario, everyone. So last time, we completed Chapter 7, the final normal chapter of the game. And this time we begin with the Peach segment for the end of Chapter 7. And well, let's see what happens. Right now they're just talking about Mario, you know, like, Oh yeah, he's amazing, he's gonna do it, he's gonna rescue me, yeah, you know, typical stuff. But... I'm pretty sure by this point Bowser and Kami Koopa both realize that, well, they are in trouble. You cuddly Bowsers here? The hell? Can we have a friendly conversation for a change? Come on, let me see a smile. I have nothing to say to you. Wow. Mario is coming, Bowser, and you can't stop him. Oh, you poor silly girl. I'm invincible with a star, didn't you know? Mario's no match for me. He's history, get over it. Watch. <laughs> what kind of terms does Kami Kuba all- Like, seriously, it's ridiculous. Crunchiness. Sometimes I'm like, what the hell does that even mean? There is a chance he could come here using their power. We must make ourselves ready in case he shows up. What? <laughs> oh, wow. Tie her up? Oh, man. Bowser wants Peach tied up? Oh, God. Please don't tell me what's gonna happen next. Please don't. Well, actually, the game is rated E, so never mind. It's not gonna happen. What I thought of. What the hell? Look at that little... St what? The Dude! You're so mean, Bowser. You're so freaking mean. You just killed Twink. I mean, you didn't kill him. Because, again, it's rated E. Okay, the final star spread. My name is Kalmar, Mario. Well done. Thank you for coming. You have successfully rescued all the star spirits. We are in your debt. Okay, then. Yes. All of us together. We'll defeat Bowser. Star energy goes up to 7. Can now use up and away and use star spirit power. You can turn enemies into stars. That's hilarious. Yes. We have to go to the Shooting Star Summit. I can do it. I can save this precious world of yours. Actually, of mine, too. What am I talking about? It's not of yours. Okay, so let's see here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a cut until I get back to the, uh... The, the city. Yeah. Okay, so we just got a level up, actually. I am very close to the city. Um... Oh, I can't increase it. What the hell? Shoot. See, in Paper Mario 1000 Year you can actually go past this limit. You can go past 30. The limit for these two would be 50 and 50 and then 30 for this one. I'm gonna improve my FP because I'm using a lot. Alright, give me those coins, and... Yeah, there's actually enemies here where Ju Junior Trooper once was. But, whatever. Okay, so... Oh, let's see. There. Oh yeah, there's one thing to do here, actually. There's one thing. Sleep. If you sleep here, something awesome, yeah, something amazing will happen. Take a nap. Let's do it. Sleepy time. And yep, you get a bunch of... Look at this. This is awesome. Mushroom. Mushroom. Ultra Shroom. Mushroom. Now, this only happens once. Um, let's go ahead and toss these mushrooms out. We don't want them. They're junk. Okay, so the next thing to do is actually to uh, go to Goomba Village because I have to deliver that final letter for uh, Goompapa. Or, is it Goompapa? I think so. Yeah, we gotta go there, and in return we will get a badge. That's right. So let's do it. It is you, right? Yes. Letter for you. And when you deliver that, you receive an awesome badge in return. You get the lucky day that sometimes makes enemies fail to attack Mario. Which, I mean, okay. Just by looking at the description, you might think that it's really not much better from the, uh, where is it? The hell? Oh, here it is. From Pretty Lucky. It says... Every once in a while, and this one says sometimes. It seems that it's the same, but actually no. With Lucky Day, they miss a lot more often than Pretty Lucky. So, yeah, it's a great badge, but it, it does cost a lot, as you just saw. Now, this next guy, the Master, um, there are still two phases left. Now, before you actually fight him, you want to have some proper badges equipped. It is very important to know how to do all this. So, let's see. Because he's going to have... Well, he has no defense in the first one, which means I can get rid of pretty much everything. I mean, I can get rid of both of them. Power Smash. 
uh, power quake double dip I'm gonna keep quick change I'll keep damage dodge and I'll keep that I don't need spike shield okay so first things first is to get zap tap on which is right what the hell oh here it is zap tap very important badge the next thing to do would be to get um I'll just put all or nothing it's gonna be one more damage I have two power plus I mean I don't need speedy spin technically but the thing is I don't know what else to do quick change that okay that's fine I think I'm good yeah let's do it try okay this is going to be the master 2 because the master 1 was defeated like three chapters ago or something so he does transform into something kind of weird very cool looking there we go the master 2 he has 75 HP, a defense power of 0, and a normal attack, which does 8 damage, but he can also use a combo attack, which does 5 plus 6. So, um, yeah, it's... you'll see. You'll see his combos, but then again, if you have Zap Tap, you can see his combos, which is good. That is why it is very important to have this on, Zap Tap. So, Mario now does 7-7 seven, seven damage, because he has the 2 power plus badges, he has the, um, so I can guard this... What the hell? I did guard it. Okay. Yeah, he has the, um, two power plus badges, power up, defense down, and, um, all or nothing, which does, you know, more damage. So, let's see, head bonk? I mean, it's six damage, sure. It's whatever. There we go. Alright. I'm guarding. Hell yeah. But as you can see, if you have a high attack power, the master is really not that hard of a battle. It's not. I mean, I'm doing 14 with Mario, 6 with Goombari. I'm doing 20 damage per turn. Whoops, didn't guard at that time. Oh well. But there we go. We got him. Or at least, right now. Okay then. So that is the master battle number two. There's only one more master battle, but before I fight him again, I have to go back and heal because I just took a kind of big beating. I will say that. Okay, here we go. Battle number five in total, right? Yeah, battle number three with the master, but battle five in the entire dojo, and this is the final, final battle of the dojo. Here we go. To battle, yes. He will now transform into this guy who has what the hell he has like an aura around him okay so let's title him this guy is the master three he has 99 hp a defense power of one and a normal attack which does 10 damage and also has a combo attack which does five plus six plus seven but if you have zap tap the combo is pretty much negated after the first hit so use zap tap that's my strategy use zap tap i also have let's see here yeah that's, that's pretty good Okay, let's go ahead and get some uh, jumps. Jump will deal 6-6. Six, six. So this battle will definitely take, you know, more time, but... Oh well. Oh shoot, look at that. Did you see that? That's crazy. That is crazy. Um, just keep attacking. For 6-6, six, six, 12 damage per turn. Uh, let's see here, with you, I want to get... Because he paracarry... Uh, Bo's only going to be doing... What, that would be five? Okay, what I want to see, I'm going to test it right now, because I don't know. Does this actually pierce the... Because I, I was under the impression that it did. No, it doesn't. Okay, so it's only going to deal five damage, so it's useless. Nope, got to switch you out, though. Damn it! You're freaking crazy. Shoot. You're going to kill me, man. Um. Yeah, sure, just keep attacking. Alright, now I'm going to... I mean, I could use out of sight, but then again, I wouldn't really, you know, it wouldn't really benefit too much. Watt will deal 5 damage, Paracarry will deal probably 6, I want to say. I mean, honestly, I think he's my best bet. Bombette's going to deal... How much would Bombette do? I want to see this. With Bomb. I think it would be 6. 
Yeah, six damage, which is the same as Paracure's Shell Shot. I can't guard this stupid move, man. That's ridiculous. Okay. When this happens, it is time to um, get a Smooch. Usually I like to use Smooch. I could also lower his attack power, but that's not really gonna... Nah. Let's go go ahead and get a Smooch. That's really my best bet right now. Heal me. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, bomb? Sure. Gotta deal that nice damage, you know? Six damage. Okay. God, I can't guard the stupid move, man. That's actually some vital points, dude. Seriously. Okay, jump. Six, six. Awesome. And you can just keep getting a bomb. Which will deal an additional six. Okay. Come on, attack me. Guard it, finally. Even though, I mean, by this point it's useless because he's gonna kill me. I can deal... Nope, I do have to get my second smooch. Are you kidding me? Alright, Miss Star, come help me. Come kiss me. Come kiss me for 20 HP. I mean, it's crazy how one little kiss heals you for 20 HP. I guess that's the power. That's the power of the stars. Alright, six more damage, so next turn you will die. Come on, do your combo. Ha! Huh. I stopped you. And it is time to get a jump. For 6-6. Six, six. And finally a bomb. For the win. And there we go. So as you can see, he is a hard battle, but if you know how to approach it correctly by using Zap Tap, it becomes much easier, especially if you have healing items. I didn't, I was using Smooch, because I sold all my junk. Alright, Diploma. There we go, proof of Mario's strength, now Mario is the strongest. Like I said, nothing, like no big reward aside from the Diploma itself, and like a, you know, self-fulfillment feeling, I don't know, but that's pretty much it. Now, um, the next thing to do would be to come over here and buy some badges. So he has HP+, plus, which I will definitely buy. He also has Jump Charge. Okay, and he has Damage Dodge. Okay, so now I need to actually zone out. And you know what I should do in between is actually rest up. I should do that. Oh, there's only two left. Awesome. Mega Quake. Okay. I'm missing, oh god, I'm missing just a little bit more. Just a tiny bit more. Mega Quick is actually a pretty good badge. It's the most powerful version of the Quick Hammer, see? But it uses 7 FP. That's crazy. Oh man. Oh, let's see here. How should I get some coins? I don't know how I can get coins, man. Okay, so now um, something really hilarious is going to happen. Yes, something really funny. Just watch. If you talk to this guy, and you give him the letter, Marilois Shooting Star Summit, you would think, because he collects star pieces, he would give you something uh, something that's not a star piece. But no. Instead, he gives you a star piece. Are you freaking kidding me? He could have given you a badge. In fact, he could have given you a badge which was worth one star piece, which would be the same as one star piece of a gift. But instead, he gets rid of the very thing that he wants to collect. So, I don't know. Alright, money money. Uh, yes. You got the money money badge. After a battle, let's Mario get twice as many coins as usual. Sweet. That's pretty amazing, and actually, I could do that to get my badge fast. I could. That's not a bad idea. What? Okay. Three badges left there, and then I'm missing one more from the Rouse shop. Uh, pretty much, I have almost every single badge in the game. Okay, I'm back, and I just grinded a lot of coins, as you can see. I actually went back to a chapter 7, and I fought some enemies by um, turning on... Let me just go ahead and show you. The payoff and the money money. Together, they make an amazing combination. You get double with this, and try to take some damage every single battle, like 10 or so. And yeah, you get like 20 coins a battle. Actually, probably more. Jeez. That's crazy, though. So, there's only one badge left, and um... There we go, we got it. That is the, well, like 76 badge or something. I think there's only four badges left in the game. There are three from exchanging star pieces, which means I need to collect the remaining star pieces of the game. 
And um, after that, there's just one more badge in Bowser's Castle, in Chapter 8. Okay guys, so before I continue on, there is actually one more thing here. This is the tree that was right next to where Colorado's base was. If you actually whack it, you get a letter. Now, um, this letter is to Goomba in Goomba Village, and uh, well, yeah, basically, uh, I didn't get it because Colorado's base or camp whatever was actually blocking. You have to wait until they move away, and then you can whack the tree, which will reveal the letter. So I'm going to go ahead and do another cut. Okay, so let's go ahead and deliver the letter to this guy. Let's go ahead and just skip all the dialogue. And this is the final letter of the game. And with that, we receive a star piece in return. Awesome. All right, so now it is time to progress into the story. Let's do this. It should be pretty obvious by now, but to actually continue with the story, you have to go back to Shooting Star Summit once you have all seven star spirits. And well, it is time to discover what is going to happen, which should be freaking amazing. Yes, let's do it. I am here, dude, or dudes. Mario, can you hear me? I'm going to open the entrance to Starway. Enter this path without fear. The Starway continues all the way up here to Star Heaven. Haven, sorry. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, so this is the way to progress. We anxiously await you. Mario, make haste to Star Haven. Alright, so what I'm going to do before I continue is actually, um, let's see, turn on... What the hell do I have on? I have power plus, power plus, P up, D down, all or nothing. Oh, I don't need this junk, what am I doing? And... Okay, that looks pretty good. What I need to do is then turn on quick change. Actually, I'm going to turn on ice power first. And then I need quick change, which is right over... Here. And then... For the final badge, I'm going to go with, um, Damage Dodge. There we go. And I think that's going to be my final setup. I mean, except for Spike Shield when I need it. And I'll just go ahead and switch out. You know what? What the hell am I doing? There we go. That's my final setup. Yep. Okay. Let's go. Let's also switch to, uh, Goombario. And it is time to take this thing up. Into the final chapter, although it's not necessarily the final the final chapter yet, because there is still a little bit, like, a little short thing first. Okay, dude, get over here. God damn it, no first strikes as always. I mean, actually, I first strike more often than not. Alright, so this enemy right here is known as an ember. Embers resemble lava bubbles, except they are blue. Embers have 10 HP, a defense power of 0, and a normal attack which is 4 damage, it's fire elemental, and they also do a fire shot in which they do 2 damage to your partner. They are fire elemental which means that they are immune to fire attacks and they are weak to water and ice attacks. Also, these enemies split into 2 whenever they are attacked and their HP gets split. So um, yeah, they divide. Be very careful. Although I mean, really it's just... Yeah, see? Did you see that? It's crazy. They're always splitting up. What the hell? Oh, shoot. Yes, guarded. Awesome. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use a... How about... Shoot. Just go ahead and jump. Okay, and now I'm gonna have to switch you to... Um, I'm gonna go with Cooper. Because Cooper's power shell is probably the, um, the least FP consumable thing, you know? Like, multi-hit attack, if you know what I mean. Eight star points, there we go, and we are at 29 now. It is time to keep going. Give me, this, give me them star points. I mean, them coins. Yeah, so it's a pretty long pathway here, you know? Oh god. A lot of coins. A ton of them. Okay, I believe there's gonna be like two more battles, maybe? I think. Yeah, see, I don't know why, but there are a lot of coins. I don't know why. To give them the lot, though. Okay, so we made it to the end. Finally, here we are in... Oh, look, oh, what the hell? Chuck Quizmo, you're here? Apparently you are. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to you, and yes, try for a quiz. I honestly did not know that Chuck Quizmo could actually appear here. I had no idea. Question, how many coins are I needed to buy a mushroom at the shopping Cooper village? Uh, that would be four coins. Awesome. Okay. And we get ourselves a star piece. I believe that's our 
Yeah, 14 questions. Wow. Okay. I need to end the video very soon because we are getting up there in time. Well, let's see. There's a save point there. There's a... Hmm. This. So I can rest up. Look at that star. Looks so happy. So happy. So happy. I mean, I guess what I could do is just explore the rest of this, um, you know, little village or town. What is this called? Like, Star Village? Star Town? I don't know. <laughs> no clue, to be honest. Alright, so these stairs lead the same way down. But over here, let's see, there is... Another star, which... Well, there's nothing there. Over here, there's a, um, a shop. Sweet. Hmm. Shooting star... I mean, honestly, the prices are pretty freaking good. They are. I'm gonna go ahead and get a life shroom. I can use one. How many items do I have now? Two life shrooms and a shooting star. Not bad. I guess I'll just go ahead and, you know, be happy with that. I have no more items anyway to sell, so... Whatever. Alright, so... Yeah, if we keep heading that way, we're gonna get taken to the uh, sanctuary. So, that will be for next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, everybody, and until next time.